Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, I'm going to make my first book nook, uh, but also the first book nook of this channel. But if I need to describe this project, it's all making rocks, and only making rocks out of polystyrene. But besides that, let's craft. I'm making a dwarven mine inspired inspired by Erbor from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. Actually, it's mostly seen in the Hobbit. You can't see the sketch, but off camera I've made a sketch of my layout of this book nook, and I've scaled it freehand to the size I wanted to make the book nook. At first, my floor is a piece of cardboard, but I later changed it to a, a piece of styrofoam that's 3mm thick. But the walls, like the, the outer walls and the box walls of the book nook, they are made out of cardboard and ceiling too. And so the start of this project was actually making many times cutting out the templates I've made for myself until I had the shape I wanted. Maybe if I'm going to, if I'm going to do it a second time, I should make it out of XPS foam because polystyrene is very hard to give texture because these are all little balls compressed. Uh, uh, yeah, not really compressed by express foam. The balls are compressed, but you can't see them anymore. But with polystyrene, you can still see the polystyrene balls. Uh, after a little piece of mountain or rocks, I've started making a dwarven gate because it is a dwarven mine. I've made the gate out of foam core. After that, you, you, can, you could see uh, the little piece of cave I've made it. They got a little gap and that's because I wanted to make a rail track for minecarts. And here you can see that I'm making the track for the minecart. After that, I glued it in place and I started and I started making more rocks. At the end of this book nook, I didn't like making rocks anymore. At the start it was a bit, then it wasn't. But yeah, that's our dwarven mines, and actually mines, because they're under the ground, so there are many, many rocks.
after making Calibu more rocks, I started making another railway track. This railway track comes out of the Dwarven Gate. That I've also made a little gap above the mountain, the cave rocks I've already had because I wanted to make some sort of flying minecarts. Actually, they're not really flying, they're hanging on a rope, but you can also see it in Erebor. And at first, I wanted to rotate them, but at the end, it wasn't possible. First I started making some crystals out of hot glue gun sticks. Uh, I saw this by a video, I think it is from Tabletop Witchcraft. It is actually you make the shapes of your crystals out of a glue stick. I will link the video from Tabletop Witchcraft in the description below. Uh, in that video you can see a clear process of making the crystals. Actually, a fun thing, I was putting them in hot water to make them a little bit more clear. My brother walked by and for a second he thought I was making bullets. And I've made a three pair of crystals, I think it was, and glued them at random spots in the cave. Here you can see I'm making some sort of a railway stop. You can see, you see this actually very often. It's 
make uh, the, uh, you can see that the point a railroad track stops and to stop a minecart or a train. You can see the painted scale. Uh, after a black base layer, I painted it grey. That's a dry brush with uh, burnt sienna, and, a bur and after that, a dry brush with white. And the wooden part I painted also burnt sienna, and the metal parts of the, uh, the railway tracks I've painted silver. And here you can also see I've changed the floor. The, because this wasn't painted. I changed the cardboard to foam core because then I could give it more texture. You can also see for more texture that I glued sand on top and some small white rocks. And I did install some LEDs. You can see it right now. Later at the end of the video in the beauty shots you will see them more clearly. First, I will show you how I've made the flying minecarts. It is actually making just a minecart, but without wheels. Then I filled them with little stones to look like gold or rocks. Uh, I've, painted, I've painted them gold, so for me they are gold rocks, but you could also paint them grey, like it's just stone or some other color. And hang them on a rope. It was it wasn't easy, but at the end it's worked. I've also made a fallen minecart. It's actually the same process, but uh, it isn't the most realistic thing because uh, there isn't any broken rope. But I thought it looked cool. Because I kept some sand just to give it a little, uh, uh, just to give the floor another color but yeah i'll say thank you for watching and it's time for the beauty shots